Today, I'll offer a few tips to assist anyone from anywhere in their preparations before and during a journey abroad. Many of the points I raise can be called common sense. However, no matter where you plan to travel to, following these steps can help keep you safe and make your trip a memorable one. Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Welcome to Four Seas One Family, where expats, immigrants, and migrants can share and learn about life experiences abroad. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm so, so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey, and welcome to the show. Traveling abroad can help a person widen their view of the world by creating a personal relationship with the locations and people encountered. However, when planning a trip overseas, there are some steps that need to be taken to ensure traveler's safety and well-being. Anyone with an open mind can learn valuable lessons about the world from a different perspective. And even though a foreign national may not totally agree with parts of the culture he or she is living in, a path to understanding a culture within their own terms can be found and often appreciated. The key is that we are all fundamentally the same and, at the same time, uniquely different. What we may be lacking is the will to fairly understand other opinions, cultures, and lifestyles, while at the same time respecting human rights, mutual safety, and health concerns. With all the negative news received from around the world, it is advisable that when traveling to locations with a record of hostilities towards foreign travelers, care should be taken to avoid unpleasant experiences and or bodily harm. The information I will put forth isn't meant to build fear or intensify a reflection of cultural arrogance or stereotypes. In fact, some of the tips I will offer today may even apply to you in parts of your own country. The other purpose of this discussion today is to offer warnings to those who are currently traveling under questionable circumstances that may put their lives or other people's lives at risk. I'm talking about things like taking part in smuggling activities, drug trafficking, sex trade, and the list goes on. And with this in mind, here are some of my personal tips for traveling abroad that I hope will make your journey a memorable and pleasant one. The tips I offer here doesn't include all the possible things people may need to think about before departing their home nation for a trip overseas. Do some research on the locations you plan to visit. Go to your local library or buy one of the many books on traveling and culture from Amazon. Research the culture, language, currency use, local religion or religions. Once again, money conversion rates you need to know about, formalities, and other things. Before embarking on your journey, get a thorough health checkup. I mean it. If you need to take medication with you, make sure you can bring your medication into the country you want to travel because in some nations, you may need to declare at customs that you are carrying your medication and for what reasons. If you plan to stay in a country that has a record of dangerous outbreaks of diseases, it is advisable that you get the required vaccinations to prevent falling ill from such diseases. However, remember that vaccinations may not totally prevent you from catching a deadly disease, so please be careful. Before heading out on your travels, leave a copy of your passport ID page with a friend or relative just in case you need assistance while traveling abroad. And remember to keep your passport with you at all times, but carry a copy in your luggage or other safe place. Check with your insurance company to see if you will be covered overseas. If you find yourself in need of assistance, learn how to make contact with an insurance representative while abroad. This can be useful. And if you're carrying any electronic devices, bring the necessary adapters for the places you plan to travel to, as voltages and plug types vary from nation to nation. And please, don't take anything you absolutely will not need or something you just can't lose because you will lose something while traveling. I guarantee that you will most likely not need your library card, your high school ring, or your Michael Jordan poster, whatever, you will not need it, so don't take them. And in case you find yourself in need of local currency, find out if you'll be able to use your local ATM card overseas, and make sure your credit card company knows that you will be traveling abroad. 
Also, keep notes on how and when you use your credit cards while traveling abroad. And in this case, you may find that traveler's checks may be the best option. If you are in a situation where you must exchange money, exchange money at a bank or, if you have to, an ATM machine. Airport money exchange centers will charge a very high service charge. I personally call them legal open door ripoff centers. Check if there are any entry or exit fees for the country or places you plan to visit. Upon leaving your home nation, make sure your luggage has your name and address on them because finding lost luggage has always been a nightmare. Believe me. Pay special attention to local laws that ban or have an embargo on certain items that can be brought into the country or location. That includes the amount of cash, drugs, books, sharp objects, or things that can be used as weapons. Keep your eyes open. Remember that the laws in your home nation do not apply outside your country. Once you step foot in another country, you must follow the local rules and regulations of that country. Remember the constitution of your home nation cannot protect you while you are abroad. And if you run afoul of local laws, your home nation may not be able to quickly assist you. Now remember the 1978 movie uh, Midnight Express? See it, it's a good movie to watch. Before taking off the ground, check your government's overseas weather and travel advisories. Make sure that at the time of your arrival, you aren't stepping into a country having severe weather, social, or political unrest. Check it. Once arriving at your destination, for your own safety, it is advisable that you register with your nation's embassy or consulate and give information of where and how long you'll be staying. A complete itinerary will aid your government's representatives in finding you in case you are reported missing or injured. And please, take care when selecting living accommodations. Check to see if the places you will be staying have adequate security and easy access to emergency services like police, medical care, phone services, and internet services. That'll be great. Make sure that your valuable belongings are in a safe location like a hotel or room safe. Learn how to use the telephone with the emergency numbers you brought with you. And just in case you need assistance, learn how to use speed dial and know your area codes and things related to your location. If you need to carry cash, credit cards, or a passport, place them on you at different easily accessible locations. When taking a short trip, a money belt or thigh pockets are good places to place small, valuable items. And when you're outside in unfamiliar locations, please pay attention to the traffic, buildings, and the people around you. Pay special attention to people looking at you or acting suspiciously. If you find yourself being followed, keep moving and look for local police assistance. Because this isn't a movie and you're not 007. Avoid getting into conversations with locals about sensitive topics like politics, religion, national and international debates. When you find yourself interacting with the local population, be aware of the personal space between you and other people. Pay special attention on buses and avoid bumping into and touching people because different cultures have different rules that define appropriate physical contact. Now, this may sound strange to a lot of Westerners, but Remember that even smiling at people you don't know could cause a misunderstanding. Foreign women smiling at local residents in some cultures may signal a very different connotation. Dress conservatively and wear neutral colors. Avoid wearing clothing that is too tight or revealing. Dressing provocatively may cause unwanted attention and could, in some conservative nations, insult local residents. And avoid accepting food and gifts from strangers because social norms are different and you may be expected to pay for something in return. Stay alert when in local settings and when meeting new people, never give out your local contact information to people you don't know well. And if you aren't familiar with your environment, travel with someone you know and keep a low profile. Don't do anything that will draw unneeded attention to you because locals can instinctively detect who isn't from their area. Travel light and don't openly display cash, expensive phones, watches, or any other luxury items. 
flashing luxury items around may make you a target for scammers and thieves. And if you're traveling alone, make sure someone knows where you are going and when you expect to return. And never get into a vehicle of a stranger offering to take you to a truer spot or a bar or any place like that. Because this is to avoid being kidnapped, robbed, or you know what I mean. And if you have to take a taxi, take only a taxi that is clearly identified as a taxi with company markings. Do some research to properly identify which vehicles are taxis. And when traveling by overnight trains or buses, pay special attention to your belongings. Keep your luggage closed and locked. Overnight trains and buses are popular places for thieves that work in teams to steal from travelers, both local and international. When traveling outside at night, especially if you are alone, avoid using ATM machines because locations that have ATM machines are usually monitored by scrupulous individuals. Stay on your toes when at tourist locations and visiting places where large groups of tourists frequent. This includes but not limited to restaurants, clubs, bars, sporting events, and museums. And never, never leave your luggage or baggage unattended. Oh, and never carry a package or baggage for people you don't know. Once again, remember I mentioned the movie uh, Midnight Express. See it. Now, if you are in a situation where the police are detaining you, even if you are 1,000% innocent, Never get confrontational. Stay cool and politely request that you be allowed to contact your government's embassy or consulate. If the crime you are apparently being charged with is serious, be prepared for a long trial in a different language and legal situation. If convicted of a crime, be prepared to serve a long prison term and be aware that in many countries, places like Turkey, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, the death penalty is a norm. Some things considered being serious crimes may include but not limited to drunkenness, expressing physical affection, and homosexuality. So what's legal in your home nation may not be in another nation. Please keep that in mind in many nations The way local police acquire and submit evidence is questionable, and the accused is responsible for proving that he or she is innocent, and there isn't a chance of getting out of jail or on bail. And in some places, offering law enforcement officials gifts for favors is common. Once again, I'm not trying to inflict fear while traveling abroad. And like I said earlier, some of the tips I'm offering now may apply to you in parts of your own country. And if you are traveling abroad under questionable circumstances, you know what I'm talking about. Let it be known that you have been warned. You aren't in Kansas anymore. So enjoy your travels safely. My questions for you today are, has anything on this list helped you avoid issues while traveling abroad? Do you have any interesting story you can tell about how you prepare for your overseas trip? And what tips would you like to see added to this list? Please leave a comment below if you have anything you would like to say or share concerning this topic. And if you found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan, and remember to take care wherever you are in the world.